This is Professor L. V. Gaikwad's English Literature Wave. I am Professor L. V. Gaikwad. He is teaching today the topic lecture number 403 and the topic is Exceptional Rules of Direct and Indirect Speech for Spoken English. Here, before going to the topic in detail, I will request you to subscribe and share my channel. Then my request is to see all the notes which I have put in the description box because these notes will help you while watching the video like PPTs. So now we are going into the topic. We will think of the following sentences. Means remember here our topic is exceptional rules of the direct and indirect speech. Means we have started the complete here the series of the direct and indirect speech. Now we are studying here the exceptional rules of the direct and indirect speech. So therefore we will think of the following sentences. Uh, the examples are kids said to us. Remember kids said to us you like writing. Here the answer will be kids told us that we liked writing. Here you changed into we because the object is us and us means we and so we should do like this always means remember you should do as I am here teaching you. Other changes have been done as per the rules which we have studied. Remember here other rules in the answer uh, we have uh, seen or we have made some changes as per the rules of the indirect speech uh, which we have explained before and that's why now we are not explaining those rules. Now the next example is kids said to me you like writing the answer is kids told me that I liked writing here you changed into I because I relates with me do always like this means remember as I am telling you you should do like that means you will easily understand the rules and regulations which are exceptional in the sense of the direct and indirect speech. Other changes are there as per rules which we have studied in the previous videos. Remember, again I am explaining here that I am only telling in this video the exceptional rules, but other rules we have seen before and with the help of those rules here we have explained these answers. So uh, please uh, see that and see all the videos which I have made. Now the next example is kids said to you, you like writing. The kids told you that you liked writing. Kids said to them you like writing. Kids told them that they liked writing. Here you has become they because you relates with them or with they and them means they that is the meaning. Other changes have been done or I have done other changes as per the rules which we have seen uh, as per the rules of the index indirect speech. Now we will see the conclusion of this topic. Conclusion is that this video will develop your spoken English if you can write and speak a correct English by studying these videos. To change direct speech into the indirect speech, do the past tenses generally. Remember here, I will tell you that if you want to make the changes as I will say in the indirect speech, then you can make the 
past tense past tense means if will is there do would means past tense is i said means uh, there are uh, past tense there is simple tense then there is the past perfect tense that's why do always the past tense is i said or do always the simple past tense that is also very true direct speech is the direct talk between two persons remember when we think of the direct speech or direct speech then we can understand that it is the dialogue conversation or speech which happens between the two persons indirect speech is not the direct talk between the two persons but it is the sentence of the third person who uses the rules of the indirect speech and makes its new sentence we can progress our spoken english with the indirect speech more and the direct speech is the talking of the two persons only remember the indirect speech is the particular speech in which we can uh, we can uh, we can explain the rules and regulations of the indirect speech and that direct speech is changed into the indirect speech it means it is not the conversation of the two persons but the direct speech is the conversation of the two persons means the two persons come together uh, it means they come in front of each other and they discuss which it which it with each other and that happens the direct speech so uh, this is the difference between the direct speech and the indirect speech in this video uh, we have seen all the information in english again we will come in front of you with a new video means this video it means that i will i will make marathi translation of this video in the next video means this same video will be made in marathi by me so please don't forget uh, to watch my uh, videos or my and don't forget to subscribe and share my channel so thank you thank you very much